Droughts have been a scourge on our planet throughout the ages, hitting people where it hurts most by depriving them of food and water. On average, I think it's kind of accepted that we see somewhere between 20 to 40 percent annual losses uh, in crops, in crop production due to uh, diseases uh, and pests or, or factors such as drought. We actually run into a problem because you can see that there's a significant increase in population growth projected. And in order to um, feed all these people, we actually need to produce more food from the amount of land that we have currently available. We try to investigate how do these plants get diseased in such a way that we can try to make them better, make them more resistant so that we can produce more food, which is really something that we need. All of these foods sit innocently on our grocery shelves next to their organic counterparts. They look the same, smell the same, and even taste the same. But 60% of food that we eat every day has a potentially dangerous secret lurking in its DNA. In public opinion, there's really a, a strong anti-feeling against manipulating plants. Natural food is actually kind of, a, it's kind of a myth, if you think about it. We started domesticating plants uh, hundreds and even thousands years ago. And so this whole concept of what is natural is kind of, I think, um, one of the problems in this.